Let's check out the most fun healers in 10.2. When it doesn't matter how much healing they do, it matters a little bit. But it doesn't matter how much damage they do, well, it matters a little bit. But what really matters is the fun. How do they feel when you play? Do you feel like you're a healer? Do you have all of your tools to handle situations? But definitely fun trumps all because if you're not having fun playing healers, then what are you doing really? Restoration Shaman will actually go for me into A tier. It's a solid healer, it's consistent, and it's uh, reliable, I would say, which uh, actually means a lot more in Dragonflight than I think it kind of used to a while ago. It's... Listen, there's a lot of burst damage. If you've healed at all in Dragonflight, 10.2 not being an exception, there's a lot of healing and a lot of burst damage that's coming through to players that's kind of hard to manage and can be a little bit of a handful. And Restoration actually helps with that with, you know, its usual kit and how it actually handles incoming damage with really, really big savers like Spirit Link. And of course, you bring Bloodlust, you're the only, well, not actually, not anymore, the only healer that brings Bloodlust, there's uh, one more, but it has been a consistent, let's say, safe pick for me whenever I need to heal, and I feel pretty good playing Restoration Shaman, I always do, and it's really, really fun, boom, going into A tier. Going into S tier as one of the most fun healers ever, it is definitely Discipline Priest. With the changes to the talents, Discipline hasn't been this fun in a very long time. Granted, the 10.1 uh, tier set was a little bit more fun than the current one. However, the fact that the majority and the most important part of your healing is a Toman is a big, big, big plus for me because it's 10.2, sure. But in Shadowlands, it wasn't as much, or at least it wasn't as important to have a Toma healing as it is now, where you had to like spam Shadow Mans. Obviously that's gone. Discipline Priest is a different healer in Dragonflight. And with the changes to stuff like Shadow Covenant and um, not having Schism anymore, your rotation kind of dumbed down a little bit in the sense that it doesn't have as many buttons because it used to have a lot of buttons prior to 10.2, which wasn't too bad, but definitely didn't make me feel like I was like impactful in my healing. And right now with Mindbender and everything, it just, everything just feels and plays a lot smoother and obviously it's doing the damage in the healing probably the some of the highest damage for healers in this patch period which is very 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 rewarding to do but it's also fun super super fun because you gotta have fun when you play wow since that's the numero uno metric for you to enjoy your time and to add more fun on top of that because you gotta have fun when you play wow why otherwise would you play wow and what better way to play wow and actually enjoy your time than getting the zygar add-on which Marcel and I both have been using and it's been an incredible upgrade to everything when it comes to getting guys for pretty much everything in the game from professions, repetition grind, class guides and a lot of other stuff that uh, I might actually get into because it's just a, a lot of things that I didn't know could be done this easy. I've been using Zygor to actually get my professions and reputations leveled up because my druid is a little bit behind so it kind of needs a little bit of help of catching up and it was definitely a lot easier than having to search for five different add-ons that can just do what Zygarde does all in one. Super easy when you just launch the game. Not to mention that it gives me useful advice like popping up with information about what gear I can use, that mount that I can get and find and collect and all of that stuff. And it's really, really cool. Get your own Zygarde by checking the link down below and using the Marcellian code for a 20% discount for the premium version of the add-on that gives you guides for everything in the game and trust me you're never gonna find farming the same ever going into holy paladin and it's okay listen marcel and i kind of have a love-hate relationship with holy paladin i think right now it's probably one of the better iterations of holy paladin in terms of fun but seeing as it's something that we don't usually go to i'm gonna put it into b tier as kind of like i don't want to say average because it's not about average but it's funner than what we usually like in Holy Paladin. So if you found Holy Paladin prior to 10.2 fun, you're probably gonna like it a little bit more now. But since we usually don't really like Holy Paladin to play, period, being in B tier is definitely an upgrade for us. I mean, it did receive a bunch of stuff and you know, this all comes as a package deal with the rework for Paladins that we've had half a patch ago, I guess, well, up a patch ago or something. No, it was, actually was it 10.0.5? Either way, Paladin is definitely a better class and Holy Paladin definitely reflects that as well in its playstyle and in its rotation. 
I think they've essentially improved the way Glimmer works. And I am personally still waiting to see if we can have more Holy Paladin casting playstyles. You cast occasionally rarely but you do cast but it's not like an actual castable hero which is something that personally both marcelo and i kind of hope we can get back one day soon until then b tier in terms of uh in terms of fun holy priest also a healer that marcelian and i don't really resonate with and although it's actually better this time around it has a level of difficulty that it didn't really used to have before not because the rotation is complicated or the playstyle is necessarily complicated but because of how it's dealing its healing and how it can actually react to situations. The fact that the meta for healers is very bursty, which this hasn't anything to do specifically with the meta, but definitely provides some difficulty with Holy Priest. You have answers to like, boom, instantly heal stuff, right? But the biggest power that comes to your healing, at least for a beginner player or people picking up Holy Priest for the first time, comes into your Holy Words. But Holy Words need to kind of, you know, be constantly worked on so you can reduce the cooldown and have them back, which make them kind of semi on demand and not, let's say, as reliable as Restoration Shaman. I'm going to put this into C tier. I would probably put Holy Priest close to Holy Paladin as well, but I feel like Holy Paladin is just a smidge more fun than Holy Priest. And uh, that's just kind of how it's going to be for the foreseeable future. Now, moving on to my personal favorite, Miss Weaver Monk. Marcellian doesn't really feel the same way about Miss Weaver Monk, but this is my favorite healer in 10.2. And I think this has resonated with the community overall because I did talk about Miss Weaver prior to 10.2 being released when we went through all of the healers as well. It has remained the most fun healer to play. I don't know what they did to Miss Weaver, but Jesus, this is fun. I know melee healers are not for everybody, but if you're ever going to play a melee healer, instead of going to Holy Paladin, try Miss Weaver first and see if you like it. Not only that, it seems to actually do really well. I mean, it's not the meta healer of this season, so if you're looking for meta, that's not it. This is a fun discussion. But it's doing way better than it has been doing in years. I'm seeing people actually use Miss Weaver to push high keys. Will it actually even become meta? I don't know, but if you're on your journey for Miss Weaver, you're gonna have so much fun using Feyline Stomp, using all sorts of burst healing cooldowns. Now, personally, I like to use Shaylin's Gift. I don't know if Shaylin's Gift is the best way to go for super, super high key pushing, but I don't care. I don't do that. I just play Miss Weaver for fun, and it's definitely the most fun I've had healing in Dragonflight so far, even though usually I'm a Resto Shaman, Resto Druid player. We're gonna get to that in a second, because first we have a preservation. Ah, my ex main, that is. Uh, kind of a love-hate relationship with preservation as well. I went into the spec um, actually loving it, and it was pretty fun at the beginning when it was all really new, but after a while, the fantasy of it kind of dried up for me. And that's actually a big important factor for me liking a healer, which is why I really enjoy Mistweaver Monk, Resto Shaman, uh, Discipline Priest, and maybe one more other. I wonder which one that is. But preservation just doesn't do that for me. It used to have a really cool fancy before but they dialed that down they kind of you know reworked the release of the spec because it's a new spec so it's fair but for me preservation has to be the i would probably put it around holy priest i cannot put it into d tier uh i feel like it's definitely more engaging than holy priest it's not an easy healer to play and you do have quite a few interesting tools but i feel like i'm supposed to feel like a dragon i'm just not a dragon i'm not the healer that i envision dragons to be the best example of this which was kind of added slightly into preservation's fantasy was a little bit of a tangent here alex straza from heroes of the storm which was the most interesting concept of a dragon that heals people has been introduced into a video game and this just it's not it's not quite it i feel like it could be so much better but it's just missing the mark as well and last but not least restoration druid now i'm gonna put this into a tier above resto shaman i want to put it into s tier, but i feel like it's just a smidge below uh discipline priest and it's definitely a lot lower than miss weaver which might still warrant it being like i don't know somewhere like here but because the difference between Miss Weaver and Resto Druid is so high, I think it just it gets bumped down. But it's very close. It's very close in terms of fun. I think Grove Tenders, Grove Guardians, whatever they're called, the trees that you summon right now, it's the best thing that Restoration Druid actually received, period. 
And the fact that I can just rotate them down for some burst healing is crazy. And I've seen some of the stuff that Restoration Druid is doing uh, in the high keys of pushings. Uh, the numbers are pretty crazy. But other than that, it's just really fun. It's really fun that you can cat weave again, which is a big part of why I find Restoration Druid super, super fun to play as a healer. Because it's the way I would like to do damage as a healer. Listen, if I want to do damage as a healer, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to stop healing for a second. And just do what my class does best. Shape shift and maul and rake and rip and stuff like that or you know go into boomkin that's fine but cat is usually more fun for restoration uh druid than than owl is because it has more cool things to do and that's kind of how the list looks like it's a little bit more on the simplistic side it's a little bit spread out but i do think that for the first time my top most fun healers has definitely changed with miss weaver taking the cake and you have to have to check out 10.2 and especially when it comes to miss weaver and hey listen if you haven't played it and you're just coming back or you still don't know the ins and out of 10.2, we already have a video out that you can click right here that goes into everything that you need to know about 10.2 its features, reputation, items that and stuff that the raid and the dungeons and the seasons and all of that, because where else are you going to be playing your Miss Weaver Monk? Right here. Click.